We want to find the values of x, y, and z that correspond to the critical point of the function f of x comma y equals 4x squared minus 6x minus 6y plus 3y squared. The point a comma b is a critical point of the function f of x comma y if the partial derivative of f with respect to x equals zero and the partial derivative of f with respect to y equals zero or the partial derivatives do not exist. The reason we care about critical points of functions of two variables is if a function does have any relative extrema, they must occur at critical points. However, it is important to remember that just because we do find critical points, this does not guarantee we will have a relative extrema at that location. Let's begin by determining the partial derivatives. We will first find the partial of f with respect to x. To do this, we differentiate f with respect to x, treating y as if it was a constant. The derivative of 4x squared with respect to x is 8x minus the derivative of 6x with respect to x is 6. And then we have minus the derivative of 6y with respect to x is 0. Again, because we treat y as a constant. And the derivative of 3y squared with respect to x is also 0 because we're treating y as a constant. And we set this equal to 0. And now we find the partial of f with respect to y. To do this, we differentiate f with respect to y, now treating x as a constant. And therefore, the derivative of 4x squared with respect to y is zero, because we're treating x as a constant, minus the derivative of 6x with respect to y is zero. And then we have minus the derivative of 6y with respect to y, which is six, so we have negative six. And then plus the derivative of 3y squared with respect to y is 6y. So this equal to zero. So we solve this as a system of equations, but notice for these partial derivatives, this equation only contains x, and this partial derivative only contains y. And therefore we solve the first equation for x and the second equation for y. This will give us the ordered pair a comma b that will be a critical point for the function f of x comma y. To solve 8x minus six equals zero for x, we add six to both sides, which gives us 8x equals six, divide both sides by eight. And now we know that x is equal to six eighths, which simplifies to three fourths. To solve negative six plus six y equals zero for y, we add six to both sides, which gives us six y equals six, divide both sides by six. We know y is equal to one. So the critical point a comma b is three fourths comma one. But for this question, they're also asking for the z-coordinate, so the point will be on the surface. So we know the point we're looking for has an x-coordinate of 3 fourths, a y-coordinate of one, and to find the z-coordinate, we need to find the function value f of 3 fourths comma one, which means we substitute 3 fourths for x and one for y in the function, which gives us four times 3 fourths squared minus six times 3 fourths minus six times one plus three times one squared. Simplifying, simplifying here we have four, four over one times the square of three fourths is nine sixteenths minus six over one times three fourths minus six plus three. Simplifying before multiplying we have one four and four and four fours and sixteen. Here we have two twos and four and three twos and six. Here we have nine fourths minus nine halves minus three. Nine halves is equal to 18 fourths. Nine fourths minus 18 fourths is negative nine fourths. Negative nine fourths minus three. If we want three over one, we obtain a common denominator of four. This difference is negative 21 fourths which gives us the z coordinate we are looking for. Now from what we've done so far, we do not know whether this critical point results in a relative extrema. If we did want to determine if this was a relative extrema, we would have to perform the second partials test, which we are not doing for this example. However, before we go, let's look at this point on the surface graphically. The function f of x comma y is graphed here in green, 
And the point that we just found, 3 fourths comma 1 at negative 21 fourths, is this yellow point here. So we can see graphically, this point does give us a relative minimum, or in this case, the absolute minimum of the function f of x comma y. I hope you found this helpful.